it's time to simplify the running science. Today's video, we're going to talk about chocolate milk and is chocolate milk a good recovery drink? My name is Devlin Eden from coachperry.com and today we really want to simplify the science behind the studies and the research of chocolate milk. I'm going to hand over to Shona to get us started. So this study on chocolate milk was done by the lead author, Mary, and his colleagues from the Nutrition and Food Security Research Center at the University of Medical Sciences in Iran, as well as the School of Nutrition and Dietetics at Acadia University in Canada. So chocolate milk has very often been seen to have a really good sort of ratio or combination of carbohydrates, proteins and fats. And so these authors set out to see whether or not chocolate milk would be a, a, an ideal post-exercise recovery drink when compared to, to water and other sports drinks. The way the authors did that is that they did a literature review. So when we do that in, in scientific uh, studies or, or research, what we're doing is we're, we're having a look at all the literature over the most recent sort of period and we set very specific parameters to make sure that we're including and excluding the right sort of papers into the study. So what the authors did in particular with this study is that they only included papers that or literature that had been studied on where exact control trials were done on measuring the effects of chocolate milk. So what that means is essentially that they haven't included studies where they were just looking at effects on, on chocolate milk in, in in recovery but really looking where, where, where papers had studied specific trials on whether chocolate milk had had an effect on recovery. One of the things that the authors also included is, is papers specifically that included specific keywords so that included things like chocolate milk, uh, recovery markers uh, and there they go into different specific scientific terms like cortisol and, 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 and different markers that we look at and, and what affects recovery and they also looked at the different trials as to how recovery affected training in, in latter days. So that is essentially that they only included those papers in the studies that they were looking at when they did this review. And a very, very key part of this as well is that the papers that they exclude from the study, so they don't include that in the review, they did that with papers that perhaps looked at other variables. So things like where perhaps uh, a study was done with chocolate milk but it was supplemented with some other protein or some sort of other food they excluded those papers so they really were only looking at the effects of how chocolate milk affected recovery so the outcome of this review in this particular paper says that chocolate milk is as beneficial if not more beneficial than your average recovery drink that contains your carb protein and fat mix that you might find in stores they talk about time to training exhaustion so your time to exhaustion is extended which means you feel that you can go effort or more effort for a little bit longer there's also evidence in this particular review that points to improved muscle repair which helps in recovery and that's what we're looking for from a recovery drink is reduced muscle damage and improved muscle repair what does this mean to you the biggest benefit i would say is financial benefit you don't have to spend huge amounts of money on products that have been marketed so well and have so much hype around them to have all these huge benefits and components to it a simple chocolate milk you might find at your nearest convenience store for after your run is going to have the same if not better benefits than what your recovery drinks are gonna have. At coachperry.com we're driven by the science and so we really want to do more of these kinds of videos for you but only if you find some value out of them. So please, if you're interested or and you did enjoy this video, let us know in the comments whether or not you enjoyed it and, and if you want to see more, more of these kinds of videos in the future. One of the things we need to realize with, with science and research is that there are always limitations in and around what you're trying to do because you're trying to control for so many variables. And so it's really important to understand those. And so if you're interested in diving into that paper in a lot more detail and really figuring all of that out, as Dev mentioned at the beginning, we have included the link to the paper in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel and, and check out some of our other videos below.